We are here at the beginning of the third Warner Foundation and Ashbrook Teaching American History Seminar in conjunction with the Wadsworth Museum in Hartford, Connecticut. The first seminar was on the Revolutionary Period, the second one was on the Colonial Period, and this third one is on Moving West. So we're kind of making our way through history. One of the beauties of these seminars is that Ashbrook has the ability to reach out to a network of teachers throughout the country. You can see on the teachers' faces how excited they are to be able to gather together and share perspectives and conversation and dialogue about important questions that they struggle with. I could never go into a high school classroom and, and teach, and I admire them for doing it, but what we try to give them is the best possible understanding of American history and American government, and then we leave it up to them to go into the classroom and use it. The seminars on Westward Expansion, as part of that, we read an essay by Thomas Cole on American scenery. It's very interesting to see somebody present visually uh, the ideas that he took the time to write down. Cole's uh, understanding of progress and the cost of progress those themes will come out when we talk about the conservation movement and the environmental movement. It was uh, part of the design of the seminar to visit this museum, the Wadsworth Athenaeum, which has more Hudson River School paintings than any other museum in America. You're dealing with artists of that time and they're giving their perspective in a different way. It's more of a visual, emotional, perspective on what's happening at the time. The exercise today helped reinforce the value of slowing down and trying to feel as well as to analyze maybe what the artist thought, but more importantly, what, what I feel. How does this work of art impact me and why? I am a secondary English teacher. I was teaching 10th grade and most of them were second, third grade reading level. So the visual was the way that I could pull them in training them to interpret what they saw and not they thought was the right answer was critical to making them connect with education. Being in the world of theater, I never get a chance to really look at history. My brain is already working on how to teach that through theater, kinesthetically. If you truly integrate the art into the subject matter, that you can have much more effective teaching. Every educator should do a seminar like this. It really gives you a sense of, this is why I'm excited to go to work every day. This is the kind of work that I want to do with my students. I find that teachers are already looking for this kind of resource and if the Warner Foundation can help us connect people who understand how to read art uh, to the teachers that are looking for these resources, we've given them more tools and more insight into history. This is very exciting for Warner Foundation to be able to fulfill Jack Warner's passion in continuing to use American art to teach American history.